The Arctic is melting faster than anyone predicted. Climate change is here, and this affects us all. It's time to stop and think, not go up there and drill for more oil. This April, four young people will trek to the North Pole to declare it protected for all life on Earth. I'm just learning the first things that I can't do. Here we go. I can't seem to stand on the snow. I'm just too big, I think. You will get there somehow. <laughs> Renny. Well, I did it. It kind of feels like it's a tough job. Josefina. Hopefully we don't fall too much. <laughs> Kiera. How do you go to the bathroom out there? Fast. Why are we bringing this joker? Ezra. I'm Saul. I'll be joining you, and I'm way out of my league. We're not bringing in mobile showers? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I'm definitely confused right now. We're not polar explorers. In fact, we're amateurs at best. Whoa. My hands. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. But we're coming together on behalf of millions on a mission to the top of the world. This expedition's no joke. A grueling trek across the frozen Arctic Ocean that'll push us to our limits in more ways than one. When we reach the North Pole, if we make it, we're gonna cut a hole in the ice and lower a capsule containing the names of almost three million of our supporters to the seabed four kilometers below. We'll mark the spot with a flag for the future, a flag designed by a 13-year-old girl, a flag that stands for global unity, a flag that stands in opposition to previous attempts to claim this region for any one country. By raising our voices, we can push those in power to safeguard the Arctic for generations to come. Sounds like a challenge to me. Follow our journey, spread the word, and together, we might just change the world.